Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld, and welcome myself back to talking. I don't know if all of you heard about it, but I, I had uh, made a comment on, on uh, Twitter that uh, a few days ago I bit my tongue. I mean, it was the mother of all tongue bites. It was, it was something else. I uh, tore a big chunk out of the side of it, a big flap. I mean, to gross you out, but uh, it meant that uh, I needed to put pressure on it and, and uh, not disturb it for quite some time. So only just now I get into where I can kind of talk again. Of course, every time I say a word, it rubs my tongue against a tooth, the, probably the one that tore it open. So I'm not going to be uh, as talkative, I would imagine, this episode. But uh, we'll see, or maybe it'll just be a shorter episode. We'll go until it starts to starts to hurt and want to call it done. Anyway, we've got a... Where are they at? Yeah, these guys coming in. Traders. And if you want a sneak peek, you can click on a muffalo and then look at its gear. You see the sort of things that they're they're bringing in. There, that's a marble. <laughs> um, yeah, so lots of interesting things coming in. You get to do uh, you get to do some trading. Look at all the blood. Because uh, rain washes it away, but we don't get any rain inside here. So that's going to be there until we go through and clean it. Anyway, went through and reworked the barn idea. Giving a bedroom for the uh, the main animal handler and then a place for the animals to, to get in for the winter and or summer. Hot and cold. Put an air conditioner there, an event there. Probably a heater in here as well. And we'll set up a bedroom. We'll set up a bunch of sleeping spots and uh, make that do for now. Um, laid out a few things because I figured we'd have a raid coming in soon with the uh, with the traders. They tend to come in, in pairs. You get, you get guests coming over, and then someone wants to kill the guests, and you have to take care of both at the same time. That's that's a pattern I've noticed. But uh, so prior to starting this, I got a wind turbine up and going, and a couple of con uh, a couple of concretes, a couple of solar generators, and then went through and kind of. Uh, min-maxed a lot of the growing beds while I was looking around, seeing all the different places where there was a little spot of, of uh, good soil here and there and, and added them into it. I would imagine these two have already planted them. we got a bunch of rice coming in. Good. And our wall is getting close to done. Very good. We're, I'm hearing chopping. Who's doing the chopping? Because I need one particular tree chopped. Okay, whoever was, they said, I'm done, I'm out of here. Shantika, where are you going? You're cleaning rock rubble. We are good on meals then, I take it. Hmm. Tempted to up the meals some more just to get more space cleared out of here. Though I don't see any meat, which means we got to queue up some hunting. Yeah. But let's do what we have right there. we got two meat. Okay. Uh, bills and fine meals. Oh, I have upped it to 50. Okay, we just need meat. All right, that answers that one. Um, we've come in. We're kind of working our way through all of this. Now, are they using the doors? They are. So hopefully when they come to visit us and we've got this loaded with traps, they're going to be smart enough to not run through the traps. I'm hoping. But let's get Klaus, who is our lead, what? Social light? Social light? <laughs> Klaus, where are you? Right there. To talk to Fox. Trade with Fox. Otherwise, we're taking down trees out here. And Cathra, do me a favor and take out this one. That way, that is the last of the obstructions. We can get the last of these pieces in. And while that's happening, where Klaus go? Is he on his way? Klaus, you are... You were trying to haul things out of here before I bugged you. Oh, good. We're getting the wall built over here around the uh, prison. That was getting a little worrisome. We were chipping it away and, and exposing ourselves. Don't want to expose ourselves. Um, I need somebody to go drop some wood into those, those walls over there. Shantigo, you are cleaning dirt still. You got the kitchen cleaned up. All right. Hallway looks cleaned up. Wow. I'm going to have to find something better for you to do soon. Um... Tomislav, you are consuming a fine meal. Handy, I'm going to leave you alone, but I'd like to have somebody. Natalia is sleeping for the day. Uh, Sangria is grabbing something to eat. I guess Klaus, when you're done with the trade, and we'll go that route. I want to get someone to drop the wood into the last of these doors so it's ready to build. But Fox is up there. Here comes Klaus. What do we got? 
Now we've got... Well, it's taking a long time. There we go. We've got almost a thousand silver. So now we're not dealing with an orbital trader. So whatever silver we have on the ground counts. When it comes to an orbital trader, whatever silver is in our orbital stockpile is all that's going to count. So we've got to be careful where that's stored. Anyway, we have insect jelly to sell. Fetch is a pretty good price. Though it did not go bad, right? Seems like it never rots. So we can hang on to that one and not worry about it. It can even not be stored in the fridge if we wish to. Medicines. Now these are ours, right? Interesting, it's not showing our medicines. We've got 31. Oh, it's this kind. It's not Glitter World medicine. You can show me? I guess we're not going to get any pop-ups over here. This is just regular medicine. It's not a great price, meaning it's not green. But well, I'll, I'll always uh, you know, hate when I desperately need it and knew I had the opportunity to get it and I didn't. So that's going to cost us three thirty-five, and I think that's a good investment to make. What can we get rid of first? Let's think that way. A shoddy steel knife. We've got all kinds of clubs, um, which none of them are counting. Now, so they... Steel clubs, okay, we do have five counting. Okay. 837 each. I'm curious, what steel sells for? Someone left a comment not to make them out of steel because it's... There's basically no markup right there. Uh, they don't deal in it, so they won't give us a price. Okay. We didn't need 10. That was mostly just to get something to trade with the with the locals. So maybe we'll make them out of wood or not even build them anymore. Probably not that big of an issue. So let's go ahead and sell off the five that the, that the game can find. Interesting that. Steel clubs, that's the shape. We made 10. There's 10 stored over there. But the game is only finding five to sell at this time. Yet they're all stored in the uh, the shelving racks down below. I wonder why it's distinguishing five over the others. But we'll go ahead and sell those five and get rid of wooden clubs. Apparently some of the enemies have dropped these off. We'll get rid of those. We're not going to use them. Uh, granite clubs, we've got three. Hmm. Maybe we... Oh, I see. We do... Yeah, they made them out of random things. Some were steel, some were granite. Ah, okay. Um, in that case, let's hang on to the the five lesser priced ones to sell the more expensive ones. And that tells me I can make them out of granite. I wonder if marble ones would be worth even, even more. They're, they're a higher, higher beauty rate. I wonder if there is more value to them. Um, we'll sell the three then. Otherwise, we've got a steel longsword we're going to hang on to. Revolver we're going to keep. <clears throat> Sniper rifle we're going to keep. And that is it for sale. Oh, we have a knife over here. We can get rid of that. And that's it for getting rid of things. Now, what do they have that we need? And what do they have that we want? Put it that way. So, go back to the top. Oh, back to the top. Anything else? I miss anything? Um, steel club, 21%. Get rid of that. And... Steel knife, 42%. We get rid of that. Okay, so now we're hanging on to these. Hanging on to that. Hanging on to these two. And that. Okay, that part's done. What do they have that we want? We're not into mortars yet. Might be nice to get a hold of some. Though I think we're a little too early for that. There'll be more opportunities. Um. Okay, they've got a wooden shiv. Knife. Uh, Gladius, a wooden Iqua. I'm thinking spear-like thing. Okay, none of these are beneficial to us. That's ours. They got a pistol to sell, which could be beneficial. We're getting more people and less weapons to give them. So I do feel like we're one weapon short right now. So an auto pistol, a charge rifle is theirs. Shoddy, but 100%. Okay. Um, I'd say it's probably between one of these two. What are what else are our choices? Everything down to the side over here. Minigun? No. <laughs> That's the last thing you want to give your own colonists. They will shoot everybody, including the enemies. <laughs> Frag grenades? 
probably not smoke pop belt an automatic defensive smoke screen will release a thick cloud of smoke if the wearer is hit by a projectile providing line of sight cover and preventing turrets from locking on single use hmm kind of expensive for a single use when would we use this all of our melee people no they would probably have in the same slot the um uh, the personal shield shield belt 1400 wow now to my knowledge it doesn't matter the condition as far as how well they work you can correct me on that if i'm wrong it mostly affects their value so tell me if a smoke bot a smoke pop belt shoddy works just as well as a smoke pop belt um, excellent you know do we pay 200 or 2000 I'm thinking that this would be enough I'm just not sure that I really want one right now helmets would be kind of nice I wonder who gets they get to fight over the helmet and the, and the vest but we should be getting some of these soon with pirate attacks so I'd say let's grab the auto pistol where am I looking? Right over there. So we've got one more weapon available to us. And looks like we're going to call that good. That and the medicine. So we're going to lose half our silver right there. But there's some silver down there to go mine. So we'll go do that. Um, good? I think so. There's nothing else here to show you for those who've never played before, right? I think I've covered it all last time. Yeah, I think so. So let's go ahead and accept... And we're done here. They're going to hang around for a while in case we want to do something else with them. But, Klaus, where'd you go? You grab some wood to go fill in these in. That'd be, that's good, actually. But I want you to bring the pistol in before it sits outside. But, all right, let's let them fill in all the blanks. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to fill in these. Okay. Let's work on that. Grab that, put that up there. And let's fill in. Well, I'll tell you what. You bring in the pistol before it kind of walks away. And the medicine, too. Actually, go ahead and haul that in. Who else is out here? Kathra, you got the tree. Thank you. Where'd the pistol go? Where did the pistol go? There it is. Why don't you bring this one in? And actually, that's your pistol. Great. That saves the trip. You do that. Klaus is going to bring the medicine. And then, Kathra, you're going to bring in the wood to fill in this one since you've got it all chopped over oh okay let's look at it a different way there's 25 out of 25 wood so is that that just needs some granite this one everything's there so this is the one that needs hauled too so fill in that blank and hopefully you're going to grab more good and then fill in this blank and you're done you can go off and do whatever you like that should give Tomislav and Klaus lots of incentive to get out here and fill in the rest of these construction projects and we have got a gauntlet need to fill it with something now think about that now in the Alpha 13 let's play we only lost one person and that one person stepped over to clean something over here and stepped through a trap right there and died insta kill with the trap so what I've done since is I have only set traps on each side of each door so they can reach over reset it and leave and not have to walk through it to get to another trap further in now i'm pretty sure that by the time we got to beta 18 they can tippy toe through the traps and not trip them but i don't know if that's a guarantee you can fill me in if that's not but i think it's just a lower chance of getting caught by it so what i'm thinking is a trap at all of these points here and there everything alongside the doors so that our people can walk through and they can step in and reset traps otherwise i'm thinking about uh, stockpiles of stone to go in the voids now stone gives good cover unfortunately but it also slows down the uh, uh the enemies as we're standing here at the doorway shooting down the length at them so is there something else other than say limestone that could be used to slow down enemies moving through without giving them as much cover so let me know what you think about that what can we what can we do to to create some quicksand in there but not give them as much cover i don't know what there is to use I, i've always used chunks of stone so if there is 
or else a slag, but it seems like the stone and the slag would be pretty comparable to uh, cover. So let me know what you think. Otherwise, um, I feel like I was about to do something. This why I paused so that I could talk. I don't know. Maybe not. Who else is doing what? Sangria is out here working with Wild Boar 1 in the alpaca grazing zone. Okay. Uh, we got a lot of uh, food to bring in. Rabbit is harvesting corn plant after he brings in some of the food he's already harvested before we rot it out. Klaus is consuming a fine meal. We want to do some hunting. Ooh, we did get the other sewing bench up and going. Okay. So, Bill's over here. All we needed left were Duster 5. So let's set this to be the same one. And actually five times. Ah, okay. Let's change this to do until we have two. They'll make one. Before they make the next one, someone's going to put it on. We'll have one less. They'll keep that pattern going until we actually have two left over in inventory to give to whoever we capture this winter that's going to need to be warmed up. So we'll do that, and this bench over here will set a bill to do the same thing. Make duster um, until we have two. And we'll set the radius down low so they just go for materials right here. Um, drop on floor. What else? Make out of what? Did we set that on the other one? Don't remember differentiating materials because they don't really have much to give, you know, to make them out of. So if you can find something to make it out of, go for it. Um, crafting skill. There's only the, the good ones assigned to it anyway, so I won't deal with that. Um, I think we're good there. Okay, so that will allow two different people, I believe, to work on these. Now, the new foundation uh, wrote in a comment, said that he was playing Beta 18, and he has a character that would just pick this up, drop it on the floor, and start working with it, with the table, you know, and, not, and they can share it just fine. But I've got, just to show you one more time, for tailoring, I've got actually four. Tomislav, now let's turn, well, I've turned that on because... Uh, I had a passion for it, that's why. I will leave it there. Anyway, we've got Natalia and Handy and Kathra available to do it. So Handy, I can right-click over here and say work at the at the wooden electric tailor bench. Natalia, right-click, nothing happens. I can't. And Kathra, right-click, nothing happens. I can do it over here because there's nothing assigned to it. So I'm thinking that Alpha or Beta 18, this project is now taking over this bench. It's now, they're, they're, they're just permanently linked. I can either destroy the project or I can let uh, um, Handy finish the job and create a second one so two people can be working. So that's the solution I'm going with this time. Um, how do we do over here? We got this sealed up, good. So we need to get floor in here, uh, floor and there. Let's finish off what we've got going. And we'll get more beds and whatnot in here. They're busy working on the wall up there, and I'm thankful for that. We're going to get this done hopefully next. Um, that's been very uneventful. I'm surprised. Kind of looking around. That's right. I did find, I started to record this last night, but realized it just wasn't going to work. It was too uh, painful to talk. So, I'm going to try, let's see, I found an emu, that's an ostrich. Ostrich has a run of 6.0 and a, a uh, uh, melee damage per second of 3.62. That's pretty significant, and if it does revolt, if they do revolt, they're going to outrun anybody out there hunting them. But I did find an emu, and it was a much better choice. And it is not anywhere near where I saw it last time. It was right in here. But, you know, most of a day has gone by. And they move a lot. Not you. You're another ostrich. Huh. I think it had... No, that's the other one. Male and female. I think it had a run of 5.0. And a damage of like 2.8. Turkey. In fact, 
out. Well, not up in here, but let's go ahead and queue up some more hunting. I'm going to turn this back on again. In fact, it may be time to work with the deer. They tend to revenge against you. I've noticed that. And we could end up really harming a lot of our guests here. Who are from the, yeah, Erythotna. That's hard to say, even if your tongue isn't damaged. Erythotna's People's Federation, which kind of like us. <laughs> we get a bunch of them injured on our map. They're not going to like us anymore. So let's wait for them to leave before we start playing with, uh, uh, with deer. But do need to queue some things up here. Let's... All right, we'll go ahead and... Just one? Just the one. Cue that one up. Whatever that was, it rotted. Um, wild boars. Zoom out a little bit. Just the one. We'll go ahead and set that one to tame. Hmm. Now, if we start getting some more armor on us, I might consider more the... Uh, the idea of taking on ostriches. Or maybe even set up a little kill box out here somewhere. Something like that. So we can run to. A little safe spot. I wonder if that emu walked off the map. And we're not seeing any Z's coming up. That, should, that would let me know. What is that? Got an Ibex. Ask Night goes of those revenge. <laughs> I watched them take out a whole colony one night. There... There you are. Okay. That's a long walk, though. That's really a long walk. I was hoping to deal with things that are closer. Like the turkey and, and uh, I guess, the deer. Okay. So we'll let these guys go. Once they leave, before uh, the episode ends, see if I can uh, queue up a couple to begin with. Problem is, they don't just shoot a couple. You queue up this one right here. By the time Rabbit or, or Klaus gets out there, this one's going to be right over there. They're going to be shooting through them, hitting every one of them, except for the one over there. Eventually, they're going to say, enough. Kill it. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> Take out that rabbit. So, got to be got to be careful. We can get them back to here. they got to run the whole length to get in here. Which puts us doing, um, oh, what is that, uh, that fair, um, or arcade game where you, popping the weasels as they pop their head out of the hole. Get somebody on this side of the door, he runs through, pop back out, shoot, pop back in, just keep doing that until you finally take them all down. Kind of works. Unless there's too many and they get on both sides of you. Alright. They're leaving. Great. It is 2 in the morning and are they leaving fast enough? They're going out this way. They're going down the river. Okay. Then let's queue up some beer. Hmm, doesn't matter which one. You get Buck's Revenge or Use Revenge. No, they're called Doe's now. They used to be Use. And everyone said, what's a U? So, Doe's Revenge. Hmm. Okay, I'm curious if the game takes into account that a U doesn't have horns. 4.8 and 2.46. A Buck? Two, no, doesn't take into account. They're treated equal. Even though there's a... Nasty set of, of horns there. There's a 12 point coming at you. And, uh, yeah, that's. We'll take out, I guess, the. Oh, uh, we'll just. We'll set these four, if it will let me, to hunt. We'll see how that goes. Okay. So, otherwise, okay, that's Rabbit and Klaus. Who's up first? Natalia's up, and she's working on a duster. Great. That's what I was hoping to see. I put granite wall back into here. Didn't realize or forgot that I had taken the machinery out of there. The compact machinery. And you are building a wooden wall. And actually, Handy, you got a good run speed. Can you bring in a bunch of these? It's starting to rain. So, one of my, my double wall there. If someone comes in with frag grenades wanting to punch their way in, that's probably a, a likely target. A single thick wall somewhere. Shantigo's cleaning. And, well, how bad is it in here? That's something else I was going to do. Let's clean just this area here. All right. And have you haul some of this in as well. And then I was thinking about putting some concrete out here. 
just because if I remember right, if they're walking over concrete instead of dirt as they enter, then it will uh, eliminate the dirt being tracked in. If I'm wrong there, let me know, but I think that's what I remember as a mechanic here. No dirt in here, so those are four entrances to our buildings. And that's already concrete there. Um, we concrete here? I don't remember now. We weren't. Okay, so... Okay, all oh, that's concrete. That takes us into there. So that got done. This got done. All right, everything's looking pretty good in there. Um, so, how many trips we got here? Oh, you guys have got that. Well, no, it's just Shantigo left. But still, that looks like less than 75. So you got that handled. Have corn starting to go down here. Rabbit is consuming a fine meal. Otherwise, I want to get building materials hauled over here and get this built this episode. Let's see if that's possible. Who can I bug next? Handy, you really wanting to. Tell you what. Instead of doing that, just bring all the materials for... Oh, that. Hopefully you'll grab 75. Yeah, there's 75 in here. You'll grab and just load up the whole area. I get somebody else to load up another area. You can just sit there and build, build, build. Klaus is getting a fine meal and consuming a fine meal. He's packing his lunch for his trip. Natalia, same thing. Nice to have lots of fine meals. But we're going to run out of those fine meals. We're going to get some uh, some more meat coming in. Tomasov, same thing. Everyone's grabbing a, grabbing a lunch. Nice to see that. Same thing. Good. That's not something that we saw that often in Alpha 13. Rabbit is chipping away over here because there's nothing to do out here. And Sienna's bringing in the corn. Oh, that's nice. Then Rabbit, how about you haul in some more wood over here? I wonder if he can't do that until he clears everything. Then haul, haul in wood over here instead. Maybe they've got to clear the brambles there before. Which means he would just walk up and just clear that and then walk away. Sangria. Oh, you're taming. Okay. Um, Klaus, did you ever hit up? You did. You're going after deer. And they're kind of behind the trees, so they're harder to see. There is a hit. See, we kind of spray the area. We kind of hit the ones we're looking for, but now they're up in here and in the middle of all these. And, and let's, Okay, let's get a good shot over here. Yeah, good tactic. You are... You're going to get right in the middle of them. Not good tactic. Man, when they... <laughs> they get angry. Okay. Whew. Worked. Rabbit, you're probably going to go after one... Not necessarily. What did I do with the work on you? Seems like turn that down so I can get you to do something else one time. Rabbit, you're at the bottom now. Your hunt is down to a three. I'll take you back to a two. After the growing is done, because we had such a priority getting the growing finished. And it looks like a little bit of the corn did get done, so you'll do that for a little bit. Uh, room. We still have some room. So I do want to max this thing out as hard as I can by the time winter hits. Which I'm guessing is like the 7th or 8th of September. But we'll, we'll find out when our winter hits. Um, otherwise, how are we doing here? This area. Oh, everything just stalled for a second. That always worries me. All right, Handy, why don't you bring in more... You are bringing in more materials. Great. Who else is down here? I just saw someone walking by. Over here. Tomislav, you are hauling steel to solar collector. That's good, but I'd like to get this done first. To be able to uh, enclose this and get a roof on. Then we'll get power going. But... Well, outdoors, we're in the 50s now. It's going to be uncomfortable to sleep here tonight. We do need a heater going. Yeah. I was going to set the heater in the cooler, but I was afraid that they would build it before they got the roof done. And I didn't see Tomislav in time. I was going to have him bring all 75. He only brought 51. Sangria, you are still taming. Okay. Klaus, you are making kibble. Are we low on kibble again? 21. You got the trigger. Okay. Um... One more person around. Kathra, I'll bug you. Can you bring some... Actually, haul all this wood in. I need 75 wood to land down right, right down there. So if you can just drop it off like right here, that would be great. A 
right about there. Now Tomislav can grab the wood out of there, fill in these, and actually, you know, I can't get them to roof this until I fill in that wall. So let's structure and build out of wood. I went to wood uh, instead of the granite when I identical blueprint over oh, right there already exists. Okay, let's tell you one more time. That way you'll calculate this wood in there as well. Um, right there. All right, you'll do all of them now. Hopefully. Yeah. Almost. Ah, we got to haul this. Okay. Haul marble chunk out of there, then you can do this one. And then all the building materials will be in place. All right, that's close enough. And do that one. And that should be enough to... Interesting, you walked all the way up there. That's 54 here. What did I have you do? 17. 25. Huh. Why didn't you go for that one? Because Handy already had it claimed. Aha. Those hidden little things in the background of the game that just drives you insane. You have no way of knowing. Okay. So, with that, this is enclosed. This is sealed. And we can go ahead and get it enclosed. Probably should rework this. In fact, maybe... Raid. Pause. Maybe we'll set one of these inside here. And not have it in the storage area anymore. Um, just noticing something there. Let's chip those two out and extend our stockpile a little bit. Yeah, do that as well. That was part of a wall at one time. Yeah. Okay. Raid and what am I, half hour into this? My tongue seems to be holding out. Maybe we'll go a little further. A group of pirates from the Saws have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while then attack. Prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. Who and where and how? Jump to location. Whoa! One, two, three, four, five, six. Up here at the top. Prison? What do we got now? We've got one, two, three beds. Probably should get this one built here real soon. Um, Klaus, you are making kibble. You're probably delivering it by now, aren't you? Handy, you are hauling wood to chair. Let's. Handy, you're a good shot, aren't you? Uh, they're going to prepare for a while, that's right? Because we have lots we can do before they ever get started. Um, let's do this, and we have to do it twice, right? You drop it. If I tell you again, you will then pick it up again. Otherwise, you'll be programmed to look for wood other than what you're already carrying, and you'll head all the way back up here to go get it. All right. So four beds will be available soon for our expected guests, we'll call them, from that raid. Otherwise, who has the sniper right now? Rabbit has one. Uh, back up and Klaus. No, no, no. Those are assaults. Okay. Who is that? Tomislav has no weapon right now. And we have nobody holding the sniper. Okay. Then we should have two snipers. One there and one in a weapons slot right there. Okay. Klaus, I want you to grab a sniper. Handy. You've got that one. Uh, Tomislav, you can grab the assault rifle when Klaus puts it down. Tomislav is where right now? Let's kind of roll call here. Where is everybody? All right, rabbit's down in here. Digging at marble. Okay, and I want you to grab a sniper as well. So you start heading this direction and equip that one. And then who's next on our list? Chantigo's over here. He's got a charge rifle, and he is cleaning dirt. Good. Getting this all ready. Um... Klaus is going for that. Sangria's over here. She's got a revolver, and she is harvesting corn. That works. We're not we're not ready to make the attack anyway. Cathra <clears throat> is out here with her auto pistol, working on trees, and she's going to be safe for a while. They have a long walk in, and they're going to prepare probably out over here, so we don't have to worry yet about it. Now, we'll get a little pop-up message probably up here that they're starting their attack. By then, though, I want to go snipe them a couple times. Maybe. We've got to check on run speeds. And Talia is in bed again. And she didn't have much of a shooting skill anyway. So if she sleeps us out, that'll be okay. Um, that way she'll be 
works, well slept and effective for what she's going to be doing, which might be doctoring us back together again tonight. We'll see. Tomislav needs a weapon. So you are right here right now. So wherever you are, by the time somebody grabs a sniper, you can grab that assault rifle. Um, otherwise, you are building a roof. Oh, good. Okay. And Klaus, you're going for that, and we are through our our system there. Okay. You guys do what you're doing. Wait for the click the click of someone grabbing a, a weapon, which would be Klaus. <clears throat> Tomislav, you can grab rabbits. So who needs an assault rifle? Let's run through that again. Um, so basically it's Natalia, Sangria, and Cathra. They're without decent weapons. And all three are threes. So who is a three with a passion? So there's Cathra. Nope. Uh, Natalia, yes, but she's sleeping. And Sangria, <clears throat> four now. Okay. Sangria, we're going to give you this one. Assault rifle. Equip that one. All right. Now, I did read that right. Yeah, you guys are kind of hanging. You'll say wandering, right? Yeah. Who do we have here? That's important to know. Of course, I won't... I'm probably not going to do... Uh, run through the attack this episode. We'll wait for the next one, but let's do all the preliminaries right now. I like to take my time with these and kind of have fun with them. Anyway, Happy. How happy is Happy? You have a machine pistol. I've never seen a machine pistol. That's new for me. Machine pistol. So, well, maybe that was the old uh, submachine gun. SMG. Uh, I'll make that guess. Um, what have we got here? All right, so we've got a warm-up of five seconds, burst of three, so three shots, and then a cooldown of almost a second. Range of 22 and damage of six. Not much damage. The pistols did more than that, don't they? So a bunch of little, bellas, little bullets going pew, pew, pew. And accuracy ratings, not very good. You don't, don't want to buy machine guns for yourself. They're not worth it. So, when you're right next to somebody, you have a 1 in 2 chance of actually hitting them. Yeah, not too good. So, not too worried about Happy. But Happy's run speed, I would like to know. Can Happy run? No. Okay, Happy's not a worry. And nobody above there. So, Happy's not an issue. Uh, Dela. Dela has an auto pistol, which is better than 6 on damage. Yeah, 9. Though, a real fast warm-up, too. The auto pistol is pretty good. Accuracy of 80, 60, 40. And cooldown of a whole second. All right. So who is Dela? Dela is really slow. So must have, like, a peg leg. Or, that's right. I, I can go to health over here. Peg leg. Yep. So Dela is not an issue either. You are Tanner. Tanner. Male. Scavenger of the saws. Um... Bolt action rifle, that's something to be worried about if you can use it. And you cannot, so good chance you're going to miss. Um, you've got a decent run speed, though. So you're going to get there first, and you're going to have a long range. So you're going to run up ahead, stop, and get a bullet off into whoever's still in that range as they're trying to run away. You need to be watched. Effa, female, scavenger, can shoot and can melee. You have got a gear. you got a machine pistol, so not accurate, but you know how to use it, so that might offset some of that. Did it change the accuracy based on your capability? I wonder about that. So you know how to use it. Do you do a better job? Still 60, 50, 40. So not really. Although, touch was 55 on the other one, so it does make a difference. It does show up in the numbers. That's good to know. So, with Effa's better I um, feel like I'm cussing when I say that name. Um, uh, better skill, it increases the accuracy. doesn't increase damage or range or any of that. It's just better chance of hitting. Okay, that's interesting. So, and what did I say about not great run speed and also a very short distance or range on that weapon. All right, so so far it's just Tanner to worry about. I'm seeing a club over here. Do you know how to use it? You do? Well, no, you don't. You want to know how to use it, but you don't. And can you run up to us really quick and hit us with it? No. Okay. Well, average. Justin, you, female Justin, has a bolt-action rifle and 
doesn't know how to use it probably aims with the uh, with the uh, the barrel end and it's probably not going to be much of an issue can't run so has serious health issues yeah okay last one is Zoya Zoya now um, has a bolt action rifle as well looks like gear yep and doesn't really know how to use it and otherwise health looks like it's pretty average okay so really it was just Tanner to be concerned about at first so I'm thinking hmm I want to get a shot off at them see if we can take one or two out before they get to us but it's a long run back to get to safety that's one problem with them um, milling around so far away so the ones who are likely to do it would, would be um, Rabbit, run speed 4.5, not great. And Klaus, right there, run speed 4.5, not great. Handy's got the run speed, and there was a second one with a good run speed. Who was that? Natalia? No, you got a pig leg. Kathra. Let's think here. Kathra, there you are. Wish that I could hit the period or comma through this and have this scroll person by person 4.2 not good so handy was good and there was somebody else who had a good run speed so klaus sangria um no and shantigo and 4.6 that's a little better and last one is tomislav i miss anybody 3.6, Tomislav. What was with Tomislav? Needs? Uh, health? Health? No pain. Manipulation, enhance, but moving, okay. Why the 3.6? I don't remember. You got nothing wrong with your legs. Um, needs? No, your food's fine. I don't know. So, Tomislav, well, now that we have a backup doctor, you don't have to worry as much, but generally you don't want to put your, your best doctor you know, out there with a sniper rifle as a great target as he tries to run all the way back. So, Tomislav, you're kind of out of the, uh, the scouting party uh, um, qualifications there. But I'm thinking that it is, well, what I'm questioning is whether or not I want instead to be um, Handy and Shantigo to go and do this. Hmm. So she's got a shooting skill of 7. That's pretty good. You know, I think I'm going to do that. That wasn't my original plan, but I'm kind of liking that. Um, Handy, why don't you... Hmm. Why don't you swap with with Klaus. Yeah. Let's let you guys walk forward a little bit and stop right there. Handy. Um, gear and drop. Let's see. Right there. Klaus. Drop. And Klaus. Grab the charge. Klaus. Not the stockpile. Grab. Equip that one. Handy. Equip this one. And Shantigo. Why don't you go have a conversation with Rabbit? Um... Oh, I hate to drop it in the water. Rabbit, walk over here. <laughs> Chantigo, gear, drop this one. Stop. Okay, you sit there and clean. That's fine. So, Rabbit, why don't you drop that? Come out of draft. Okay, try it again. Drop. Chantigo, grab this one. Rabbit, grab this one. Okay. Now, the other assault rifle is now gone so I'm sure Rabbit and Klaus are going to say hey give that back and what did I miss no we haven't got there yet <laughs> that's Rabbit and Shantigo that's that one okay never mind Handy you are building a roof Rabbit try this again actually um yeah let's drop this one Drop that one. I thought one of you already had the sniper. Rabbit, you grab this assault rifle. Shantigo, 
you grab this sniper. That leaves whom that needs an assault rifle. Tomislav could use one. You can over and grab this one before it uh, sits in the rain, or actually this one right here, uh, charge rifle, before it uh, sits in the rain too long. Okay, whew. With that, what else is super important? Hmm. Just working on food, which you guys are doing naturally. Um, filling in the last of the roof. Handy's going to take care of that. So we could go ahead and just set these up so that it gets done. Furniture, bed, uh, rotate you around. We'll drop you all right there. Be nice to get the rest of this done, but uh, uh, who could I have do that? Catherine's heading that way. Shantigo, you're on cleaning mode. And apparently there's no meat. We've already processed the meat and we're already turned into meals or something. Or, no, Klaus is making out of bug meat. Good. So, in that case, let's grab a Shantigo, which I thought was right in this area. You're all the way up here. Okay. Let's have you mine this out. Let's leave you alone until you do what I asked you to do. Alright. You are cleaning dirt. Let's get you back into mining mode. So, work. Shantigo, right over there. There's still a one for cook. Otherwise, mine is a two, but cleaning is a one. We're going to take you back down to a two and send you into mining until it's time to go snipe, which will be first thing next episode. But in here, let's set up a... Oh, an end table. There. A dresser. There. A potted plant. There. And a light. Hmm. That should be good. And a cooler. Uh, temperature cooler with the blue on the inside. Not a problem there. I don't think so. Vents already in place. And a heater right there. Power's already set up for these guys. Got a little battery bank hiding over here under a roof. I think that's going to be fine. Handy's going to take care of the last of the roofing there. And now it's just a matter of waiting out these guys. Which is something I think we're going to do next time. So, it's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.